Hi everyone, my name is Patrick, and I'd like to give you a brief overview of how to play this deliciously fun game called Bon Appetit today. The main purpose of this game is to help students understand the diversity of wildlife in the forest and how the different food chains interact and work with each other. Here we have the game board, and also we have a deck of cards, which there are a variety of plants and animal cards contained in there, and the game pieces. This game can be played by between two and six players. Each player will receive four tokens of the same color, which they can use to mark their food chains as the game goes on. On a player's turn, uh, we first start by drawing five cards for each player. And on your turn, you will place between one and three cards on the board in one food chain. You have to start with the top player. You can see there's some examples at the top of the board of what could be played up here with the plants. And then if you're able to, you can continue by playing another card. If you look on the card, there is a symbol which will indicate what this animal is able to eat below it on the food chain. So here we see the slug can eat this plant. And then if I have any of the other cards, which I do, I can keep playing them up to a total of three cards in one turn. Again, you can see the symbol on here will indicate what this animal is able to eat below it on the food chain. At the end of my turn, I'll place a token on the furthest card towards the top of the food chain that I'm able to play. And then as the game goes on, if someone else is able to, on their turn, they can continue the food chain up until its completion. So the next player is able to do that, then I would have to remove my pawn. And then once you play a card that has the pyramid symbol on it, then the food chain is complete. And the player who has placed that card on the board will then collect all the cards and then receive one point for each card at the end of the game. If, while you're playing, you start a food chain. Let's say it's my turn and I'm going to be able to play this, start at the top, and then working my way forward, and then place my token on here. And by the time my next turn comes around to me, if no one else has extended this food chain any further, then I will also collect these cards, as long as there's at least three on the board, place them into my pile, and score those, again, at the end of the game, one point for each card. Each player will bring their hand up to again to five cards at the end of their turn. If on your turn you're unable to extend any food chains or to start a new one, then you'll draw one card from the pile and skip your turn. Uh, at the end of the game will be when the cards are exhausted from the pile or when time is up, and then you'll score one point for every card that you've received and the person with the most points wins. Hope you have fun and thanks for listening.